Local 24 News is your local election headquarters, and we are on the road this week giving you rare, exclusive coverage of the hotly contested Tennessee U.S. Senate race in the final week before Election Day. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. You know, it's already the most expensive Senate race in state history, and recent polls show a back-and-forth lead between Democrat Phil Bredesen and Republican Marsha Blackburn. Local 24's Brad Broders is live in Murfreesboro, where an early vote rally for Bredesen is just getting under way. Brad. Good evening, Richard and Katina. This event being held at the Grove at Williamson Place, a former dairy farm and current event facility about 30 miles southeast of Nashville. People starting to arrive right now. Now, this Rutherford County event comes as the state of Tennessee reporting very strong early voting totals in all 95 Tennessee counties, a 183% increase in the first 10 days of early and absentee voting compared to the 2014 election. Now, back to Bredesen and Blackburn, both candidates will scheduled to spend a good chunk of the next couple of days here in Middle Tennessee, mixing in a mixture of policy discussions as well as good old-fashioned get-out-the-vote rallies, including this one right here in Murfreesboro right now. Now, this morning, Marsha Blackburn held an event in nearby Franklin, a roundtable with law enforcement. But it was her event Sunday in Nashville which really drew national attention. In that event, several people were escorted out, disrupting and interrupting her get out the vote speech at several times. Blackburn called the disruptors a, quote, angry liberal mob and, quote, appalling. The Bredesen campaign denounced the disruptions and a spokesperson said the demonstrators were not associated with them or the Tennessee Democratic Party. Now, early voting ends this Thursday and the deadline to request an absentee ballot is Tuesday. Reporting live in Murfreesboro for your election headquarters, I'm Brad Broders, Local 24 News. Brad, thank you. And the Tennessee Senate race will definitely be one for the record books. This week, Brad is following the candidates as they campaign to help voters make an informed decision at the polls. Follow us for the Senate right here on Local 24 News and on Facebook and Twitter.